Hi everybody, welcome to this week's Ask Dara. I got a lot of really great submissions for this week's video. I'm only going to answer one question in a video, but a lot of the other questions gave me some really great ideas for other things. So don't worry if you submitted a question this week and it's not the one that I'm answering right now. I'm going to get to it either in one form or another, so stay tuned for that. Uh, and the question that I'm going to answer in video form this week is, what do you do on your rest days? And I think that's a really great question because I'm sure from the outside, it looks like I am go, go, go all the time. And a lot of people got the wrong idea that you have to be go, go, go all the time and working out constantly. And whether in fitness or in life in general, that is not the best way to be. So before I talk about exactly what I do do on my rest days, and yes, I have them, um, I want to talk a little bit about why rest is so important. So we all know the fight and flight response. It's a physiological response uh, to danger or to anything that heightens our stress response. So whether that's something that we do ourselves, being exercise, which we know is necessary. We need to push ourselves hard and out of our comfort zone and break those muscles down and overload our hearts in order to be able to see changes and to improve. So that's normal. It's good to have a little bit of stress every once in a while. The difference is if you compare it to, you know, our ancestors whose moments of stress were things like running away from a saber-toothed tiger, then once they got away, they could actually rest. So once their body was done with that flight or fight response and they were able to actually rest, the physiological symptoms and the, uh, the side effects of that stress response get the chance to fully relax. So both your body and your mind gets to recover after that. And that's the way our bodies are designed to work. We have intense moments of uh, stress response that we should be interspersing with periods of true rest and in today's modern world it's more like we're constantly being chased by saber-toothed tigers and never actually taking or giving ourselves a chance to rest and that's where we get into problems like overtraining and my stress induced shingles that I had in February we're just whether it's mentally with working too hard getting too much going on or physically working out too much and not giving ourselves the proper chance to rest uh, we're overloading ourselves and we have a constant stress response going on and our bodies kind of forget how to shut off and how to actually fully rest and recover. So one of my big focuses has been in the last few months, especially since uh, everything went down with, with my shingles and I really realized just how much of an impact stress had on my life, is focusing on working when I'm working and resting when I'm resting. So let me explain what I mean by that. How often have you been trying to work on something? Whether you're on your computer trying to write something, whether it's an article or a blog post or trying to complete whatever it is, something that you should be working on and you get distracted by Facebook, by Pinterest, by something that you shouldn't be doing. We kind of think of that as rest because it's not work. but that's not the case. Anything that you're doing that's distracting you from what you're supposed to be doing is not rest either. It's just kind of a waste of time, something in between. On the flip side, when you are out and trying to rest and recover and take a day off, do you kind of sit there thinking, oh, you should be working, you should be doing this, maybe you should do some extra cardio or this or that or whatever it is. So once again, when you're supposed to be resting, your mind is on something else and thinking about, oh, you should be doing this, you should be doing that. So my goal has been work while I'm working and rest while I'm resting. So keeping my focus on whatever it is that I'm supposed to be doing while I'm doing it and not letting a one hour job stretch to three or four hours because I'm constantly checking something else and getting distracted because that just fills the time and it's not actually productive time. So it's the same thing with your workouts. Be focused get in, get out, do your workouts. Don't think that more is better and that you need to be working out six or seven days a week in order to get results. And likewise, when you're resting, make sure you're actually resting. Give your body that chance to actually recover and recuperate 
and don't worry about what it is you have to do tomorrow or the next day. So that being said, kind of laying a groundwork of how I actually think about my rest days and think about rest days from my workouts as well as rest days from work. I'm a fitness model, I'm a personal trainer, it's my own personal hobby as well as my business and my life. So I think about it a lot, I love what I do, I have a lot of passion for what I do, but just as I need to pull myself away from that, it helps me to be better at what I do taking periodic breaks from it. So not only is it good to take rest to give your body time to recover, but it's good for your mind as well. So after all that preamble, get back to the actual question of what do I do on my rest days? A typical rest day is usually on a weekend day. I like to plan it that way. So I will sleep in, I'll get up, have a leisurely healthy breakfast. And then depending on what the weather's like outside or what our plans are for the day, I like to do something somewhat active, um, even if that's just going out for a walk. Grab a coffee, go look at some art galleries, go to a museum. If the weather's nice, we can walk down uh, by the lake here, lay in a park, read a book. I like to do something that is relaxing, something that actually takes me away from workouts and the, the busyness of Facebook and things like that. And something that I've actually started doing consciously is taking times away from my computer and away from my phone and away from social media purposely. So often a rest day from my workouts will also be my rest day from my work. So as much as I can, other than what I absolutely have to, I keep my laptop closed. If I go out for a walk, I'll purposely leave my phone at home because anybody who needs to actually call me, if it's important, they can leave a message. And I would rather not have the temptation of constantly checking my email or having something to do on the phone distracted when I could just be out walking around and enjoying the weather and being outside and just living in the moment, resting while I'm resting and not letting my brain be somewhere else. So since I've started really incorporating those kinds of rest days and not having it just be a rest day equals a non-workout day, it's actually a recovery day. Recovery for my mind, recovery for my spirit, recovery for my body. And every once in a while, if I feel like I need two of those in a row, I will take two of those in a row. And it's all about whatever you feel you need. I take at least one a week and more so if I need it. So it's it's full. My rest days are a full rest day. It's not just a not, not a workout day. I give my body what it needs depending on how that week has gone. I give my body what it needs to recover from the work that I put in that week and to prepare myself for more work that I'm going to do in the week coming up and that gives me the, that balance and that that proper um, resting from the saber-toothed tiger if you will so that I can uh, run away from it again in, in the next week and, and continue to actually get away. <laughs> so that is what I do on, uh, on my rest days and that is how I think about rest days. That's my rest day philosophy. Um, what about you? I would be really interested in hearing how you view your rest days and if you find it hard to actually rest when you feel you should be resting and if it's hard for you to kind of shut down and, and really take the recovery that you might know you need but have a hard time actually taking because you've always got some nagging voice in your head saying, oh, you should be doing more, you should be doing more and not, not actually letting you rest. Um, how do you deal with that or have you been able to overcome that? Um, Likewise, are you really good at taking the rest and, and listening to your body? What, uh, what tips or tricks could you give us, anybody here, that uh, maybe needs a little bit of help with that? Love to hear your responses in the comments, guys. Please give this video a thumbs up if you liked it and subscribe to my channel. And again, stay tuned for all the other questions that you submitted on Facebook. I will be answering them in one form or another in the next few weeks. I'm very excited about some of the ideas that you've given me. And we'll see you next week. Bye, guys.